Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to root the Essential phone. So, root has finally been um, stable and working, and this video is going to be showing you how to achieve that. You are going to need a few things first. You're going to need to make sure your bootloader is unlocked. I have a video already on how to do that. I'll leave the link down in the description. So once, and of course, unlocking your bootloader will wipe your phone. Um, and once you have your phone basically reset back up, um, we're going to need to go ahead and root the, uh, the phone. There's a few things you're going to need first. You're going to need to go ahead and download uh, a couple files. Um, there's going to be a TWRP, uh, basically, image. Um, and there's also going to be a boot image. So a huge shout out to BMG and Invisible K who made this possible, um, XDA forms, and also the Discord server. I'll leave the links down to the original thread in this video. Um, huge props and shout out to them. Um, I'm referencing BMG's guide for this, um, so you can all look at that as well if needed. So you're gonna need to download Magisk 14.3, you need to download the TWRP, and then also the appropriate uh, boot image as well. Uh, make sure that your phone is running the latest update from um, from Essential, which is the build number NMJ32F. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is actually boot into Fastboot in order for this to take place. ADB reboot bootloader. And I nor BMG nor Invisible K are responsible for anything happening to your device. Um, I'll be posting up a video in the future on how to revert back to stock for whatever reason. I'm also going to be doing a video on how to flash Lineage OS, which is also again available out, which is fantastic. Alright, so now that we are in Fastboot, there are a few things that we are going to need to do. So we need to uh, flash the TWRP uh, image here. Um, so I have gone ahead and actually uh, put that here in the ADB fastboot folder. And I have just renamed that as TWRP-PH1. Makes it easier to type in um, in our fastboot interface. And that command is going to be fastboot flash boot TWRP-PH1.image. All right, that has been done. Now what we need to go ahead and do is boot into recovery. So by using the volume buttons on the phone, we're gonna go down until you get to recovery mode and press the power button. And here we can see TWRP is up and running here. All right, and touch is working just a slight bug, there's a, a black bar around just for the offset. Not a big deal, but anyways, you're going to want to download the Magisk zip, so that way you can uh, flash that and sideload that here next. So what we want to go ahead and do is adb shell twrp sideload. Alright, starting adb sideload feature. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is type in adb sideload magisk.zip and that is now sending and insta flashing that in recovery. Alright, so that is done. Now what we can go ahead and do is uh, just reboot into, into the bootloader. We'll go ahead and just uh, restart the device. Alright, so now that is done. Let's go ahead and open our phone. Here is our Magisk Manager. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually just check to see if um, root was successful by going into root checker, verify root, and we are rooted. Next, safety net if that passes. And we can see here that it is passed, so therefore Android Pay will work and you won't have any issues um, in regards to safety net and the phone not passing. So fantastic. This is how you root the essential phone 
Again, huge shout out to BMG and Invisible K for all of their hard work and making this possible. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask down below. I will continue to create these guides for you all to make it easy in case uh, you run into any trouble or have any questions. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.